And big news for Chromebook and Chromebox owners, if your device is compatible with Project Crostini, which allows Chromebooks to run Linux apps, uh, that feature is now part of the stable channel. So if you update your Chromebook, you will see, if you're compatible, an option here to enable Linux. And when you turn that on, it will install all the container stuff to get Linux running properly on your Chrome device. Uh, my suggestion is to head over to the Project Christini Reddit subreddit. I'll put a link to that down in the video description. Uh, there you can see which Chromebooks are compatible. There are a lot, but there are a number that are not compatible, nor will they ever be. So check out that page and you'll get uh, some more information. Lots of helpful folks there. Now, when I previewed this feature a few weeks ago, we were installing all of the apps on the command line. Uh, but there's actually a nice visual way to browse Linux applications. This is called the GNOME Software Center. And once you get it installed, you do have to do some command line to get this part installed. But once it's installed, you can go through and browse all of these different open source applications that are up on this service here, uh, completely free of charge. You can find the app that you're looking for and then just tap install and it will automatically get everything installed without having to do any additional command line functions. There are a few steps though to getting it installed. So let me show you those real quick. Uh, the first is to get that software manager installed in the first place. So you type in what you're seeing on screen right here. Uh, I did a couple of uh, little typos here as I'm typing it out, so wait until I fix all of those. There we go. Uh, and what you do is type this command in and hit enter. Uh, that will then go out and download all of the different components that you need for this to work. You have to give it permission to do so. And then you wait for this process to finish. And then once this part is done, there are two other things you have to do. Uh, so the next step here is to, let me wait for my screen to catch up here, uh, is to type in sudo apt-get update. And what this will do is go out and get all the updates that are available for the components that you just downloaded. Uh, and then you have to do one additional command, which is this one you see on screen. And what this will do is get that, uh, that software again updated properly. And once you get all of that done, uh, you have to reboot your Chromebook. And after you do that, uh, the store here or this application center will be populated with all of these apps for you to browse through. If you don't do those other two steps, you won't see anything. Uh, so if you do those two steps and you still don't see anything, make sure your Chromebook shuts down and completely reboots. And then when you go back to the package center here, you'll see more applications available. And I found it to be really helpful. And what's cool too is that after it's done installing things, uh, they will show up. Looks like my Chromebook just locked up on me here. Uh, they will show up on your application launcher so you can pull up uh, applications just like you would anything else on your Chromebook. So a really helpful way to get things working. There's probably a few little glitches here that they're uh, still dealing with as this rolls out on the stable channel, but it does work uh, exceptionally well and it's very easy to find uh, new applications for your Chromebook that way. This is such a great thing for Chrome OS. I think it's a great thing for Linux in general. A lot more consumers are going to start stumbling across this now and potentially uh, using some of these applications day to day. And I'm very excited to see where this goes next. This channel is brought to you by the LON.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Too Much Sauce, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe.